What? Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Budgie Rolls. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It looks like this. Also, hit the little notification bell next to it so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So, in today's video, this is another fallathon video. Yay! So, fallathon is a marathon that I will be making a bunch of different fall holiday inspired recipes. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a holiday roast with a cauliflower, a whole cauliflower. And it's going to be awesome and delicious. And yeah, so let's get veggie. All right, guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started with a large head of cauliflower. And this is just a plain old regular white cauliflower, even though I assume you can use any color you like. And I have already cut off the base and taken off the leaves. When you're cutting off the leaves, you want to be very, very careful not to cut off any of the actual florets from your cauliflower. Just get it as flat as you can, like as flat as possible as you can see. All right, and then we're just going to go ahead and place this into a pot, and I'm going to use a oven safe pot. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is I have two-thirds of a cup of vegetable broth here, and then I also have half of a lemon juice, uh, half of the juice of the lemon and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up with the uh, vegetable broth and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right over our cauliflower and then everything that drips into the bottom is just gonna serve like to steam the cauliflower Alright guys, so for our spices and our herbs we have a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one tablespoon of parsley, one teaspoon of sage, and yeah, like as if that's not enough, that's it. Yeah. So, and then to that, we're going to go ahead and add a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And we're just going to go ahead and mix that up. So I've also added three garlic cloves minced. And we're going to go ahead and mix this all up. And this is going to be like our sort of rub. So next I'm going to go ahead and just start pouring this in like right over our uh, cauliflower. And like you would do any rub, I'm just going to go ahead and rub this around. You guys, I wish that you could smell this right now. It's like so, so good. As if that's not enough already, we're going to go ahead and just add some veggies, some uh, carrots, some potatoes, and just a few pieces of celery. And at this point, you can place a lid over top, but since my lid is doesn't like close all the way, I'm going to do some aluminum foil instead. Alright, so this is going to go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 1 hour and 20 minutes. But for the first hour, we're going to have it covered and then we're going to go ahead and uncover it. So I'll show you that. Let's go ahead and put it in the oven. Alright, so now that we've taken this out of the oven, we're next going to go ahead and add 1 cup of freshly made gravy and this stuff is like so delicious this is the gravy that I made a little while back and um, a lot of you guys actually tried it and I, I thank you so much for the feedback I really appreciate you guys giving me your feedback and we're gonna place this back into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes like I said I'll link the gravy recipe down below um, yeah 15 to 20 minutes back into the oven uncovered here we go alright guys so there it is straight out of the oven so instead of cooking it for 15 to 20 minutes, I actually cooked it for 30 minutes. Now you guys didn't actually think that I wasn't going to actually cut into it for you guys, right? Because that's the whole, the whole uh, food porn thing. There it is, cut into. It is absolutely beautiful. And I went ahead and played it already so I can take pictures. These beautiful, delicious juices are left in the pan. And you can go ahead and serve that on top as a gravy or use any of the extra gravy that you have from pouring it on top. Alright guys, so you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. Here I have a little messy looking plate. So basically what I did with the gravy was like the, the sauce liquid that was left on the bottom of the pot. 
I actually mixed it in with some of that gravy that we poured over top. And let me set this down so I can have a bite. And this stuff is like, oh my goodness, I, I already tasted it, I'm not even going to lie. And it's really good along with, you know, with the gravy and the uh, potato. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've tasted it before. I've been tasting it since I finished making it. Making it and it still blows my mind how good it is. Mm. You guys have to try it. If you guys are going to have a vegan holiday, <clears throat> vegan holiday dinner, have a vegan friend coming over or anything like that, this will be so delicious and it will be a hit. It's so good. Let me know what you think. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.